So Antoine, we are in Brussels. You are one of the founders of, uh, of Modern Bike. So what is Modern Bike? So Modern Bike is a social bike delivery cooperative which was founded on the 11th of May 2017. Uh, and we focus on the distribution of local and fair products. So mainly, um, yeah, local local food, uh, bioproduct, and everything related to the to the circular economy. Uh, so the raw material, uh, which uh, which can be recycled in uh, in new production processes. So we're combating uh, food waste as well. So and 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 what uh, what was your motivation to start this uh, this company or this cooperative? So uh, four of the six uh, founding members uh, were bikers for uh, a capitalist uh, platform uh, delivery corporations uh, such as uh, the Belgian uh, Take It Easy or, or Deliveroo. Um, and so it was the bankruptcy actually of, uh, of Take It Easy uh, which uh, led to, uh, to a consciousness uh, among uh, among some uh, some bike messengers uh, to create something new, to create actually uh, a bike messenger tool uh, which we owned ourselves. And and and, and what is the added value of owning it? So yeah, it's one of the three principles we we stand for um, is the not only the transport, um, the fair transport of, of local products, so the quality of the product, but also the fact that the, um, the, um, the biker, the modern biker, uh, is actually uh, in control uh, of the company, that he or she um, decides um, how, how to run it and, 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 and how to um, um, yeah, we we're actually managing it, uh, so that's why we are also interested in in, in having a, a decent and, and fair wage. Uh, so the fact is that the biker shouldn't just be an an adjustable on an Excel sheet, uh, but is actually uh, the cornerstone uh, of the company, because uh, otherwise we won't be able to. To build a social inclusive company, like we really want to to stress that. Yeah. And can you tell me something more about the moment from the idea to uh, where we stand right now? Mm -hmm. um, so the idea was uh, different uh, bike initiatives uh, coming together, uh, and we uh, we were incubated in uh, Coop Cycle. Uh, no, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so we were uh, incubated in uh, Coop City, uh, which is the new uh, Brussels center for cooperative uh, economy. Um, and thanks to that, actually, we were uh, coached and developed a, a business model and uh, yeah, f were founded in, uh, went to the notary on, on, on the 11th of, uh, of May 2017. Um, so it was a process of a few months, of course. Yeah. And then what was the added value of the incubator? Uh, so the fact that we really uh, worked together uh, also had input from from coaches, and so that uh, that uh, yeah. Um, also thinking about the social cooperative, like to have the the right closest to uh, look at uh, other similar enterprises, maybe in other sector to see. Uh, how they respected these uh, social criteria, which are of course strict and should be. Um, so all this, uh, and also the fact of being uh, uh, of being known in in, in Brussels uh, through through that community uh, is important. And and now uh, the same with um, with the use uh, we have from uh, from the co-working at uh, at Molen Geek. Uh, we're also part of uh, of that new community now, and so that also, uh, yeah, makes us uh, more uh, more popular uh, locally. So you also have benefit from the more uh, uh, social responsible incubators that help you also on one side to shape your plan, and the other side also to get the right uh, attention uh, in the in the local media. Yeah, exactly. So uh, they're promoting us, and we're promoting them uh, as well because uh, we were the first startup created after after that uh, 
that uh, that session, that um, program. Yeah. And uh, you're not developing the technique yourself. You're working together with uh, with Coop Cyclops or, or Coop Cycler yes. in uh, in mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in in France. Uh, what was the reason uh, for you to make this decision? So um, we started uh, without application, without uh, technology, uh, but then we uh, we met uh, Coop Cycler. Uh, who uh, actually uh, share the, the same ideas, uh, the same values. Uh, so they're designing um, platform uh, tools, uh, uh, yeah, apps uh, actually, uh, which uh, can be used uh, by uh, social bike delivery cooperatives. So we're, uh, we're doing uh, beta testing for them and we're, uh, we're very thankful for that, but we're on common projects, and sometimes um, when we have a subsidy, we we share it uh, together with them. Um, so it's uh, it's also a win-win. They they also for for the median attention and stuff. Um, so well, we we're, we're, we're uh, we think that uh, everyone should do what he or she is good in. Uh, uh, we're not developers, so we, we met uh, nice developers which are on the same line. We want to grow this, uh, this network of, uh, of sustainable uh, bike delivery platforms together. So, so, so you really share a common goal and also a yeah. common way of life by being both a cooperative. Exactly. And what do you think government can do or local government can do to really uh, boost these kind of more uh, grassroots initiatives like uh, like platform co-ops? Mm -hmm. uh, well, now there, there are different laws uh, around the platform economy. It's mainly focused on, on the big players. Uh, also, uh, for uh, crowdfunding, for instance, it's mainly the big players that uh, that have these uh, agreements. Uh, so I think they they could have these uh, incentives. They could focus it more on, on really the ones uh, willing uh, to provide uh, local and, and social benefits. Um, and also on mobility-wise, of course, if if they would decide to. Uh, extend the pedestrian zone to, to the whole city center of Brussels will, will be would be amazing for us of course uh, but it's not the case yet <laughs> and uh, why do you think that this this more fair platform model called platform code model now uh, gets attention uh, also very media it's of course uh, because uh, people are tired uh, as well uh, in the case of uh, of delivery for instance as well the clients as the restaurants as the bikers, uh, which uh, had actually, um, where well, there was a Belgian compromise with uh, with Smart, uh, which um, yeah they, they weren't obliged to to be freelancers. Now they are, uh, so it makes it uh, totally unfair if you don't have a have a, a minimum uh, wage and, and and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a counter reaction against this uh, deregulation and uh, like many partners, uh, social partners, trade unions and stuff are, are behind the technological evolution. Um, and so it's, uh, yeah, it's really hard for, uh, for, for existing structures to, to integrate uh, these changing models. Um, I mean, legislation is, is always a, a, a step behind. Uh, and maybe uh, maybe try to think different. Like there are almost elections in uh, in, mm -hmm. uh, in Belgium. You d you mentioned in our previous uh, conversation uh, on city and also national level. Maybe you can also think about how can we also um, lobby uh, lobby, but also maybe okay. say okay, U.S. government, you say you want to be responsible, mm -hmm. so just be an example and become a client of Monobank. Yeah, um, yeah, that's uh, that should be would be a good strategy indeed. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe just uh, mm -hmm. confront them with their own ambition and say, okay, yeah, maybe exactly. the first step for you is also to change your your uh, policy of government so that you uh, in tender projects that you then uh, only will work mm. together with more local and social initiatives and then then be the good example for everybody else. Yeah, but the, the tendering, it's uh, administration and it's a long procedure and it's something we should include in, in tendering like the 
eco delivery aspect, but it uh, it takes time, of course. Uh, but that's more the. Um, it's not because uh, elections are, are approaching that the, that we will have impact on the on the tethering procedures uh, straight. Uh, but we are thinking uh, about all this, and but there, there there's still a lot of work, and maybe we need a, a bigger uh, network with uh, other uh, bike delivery companies and so on to to really uh, push forward uh, these uh, quite specific demands. And where do you stand right now with the, with the cooperative? So um, when well now we're uh, looking uh, for new new clients and we're uh, together with uh, Gobsik uh, testing uh, this application, uh, this app uh, rather, <laughs> um, and um, so yeah, we're getting we're getting more and more uh, media attention after uh, quite uh, desertic uh, 2017. So that's a good thing. So we hope that the the demands on the client side uh, will follow, uh, so that we can uh, we can fairly pay ourselves as well for for the back office, um, and then um, yeah, like uh, gear up uh, the the cooperative and uh, and build a community around it. Uh, once we have the the official papers of the. Um, um, of the social cooperative, then, then we can actually uh, also um, have uh, have the Belgians or or well, all all those willing to participate, then they can uh, buy shares in in the company. Uh, so it's uh, it's one one person, one vote. It's not uh, one share, one vote. So everyone uh, has has the right to to say something. Of course, we check we have checks and balances. To see that uh, there's not um, a, a delivery which send over 50 bikers to buy all our shares, <laughs> so we yeah we have uh, ev everything in place actually uh, to grow uh, and to to become uh, more sustainable uh, financial wise. Um, but now we need yeah we really need to uh, to paddle more and and to convince uh, more people uh, to to join our project. And, and what's your ambition for the future? Let's say we'll talk again in, in five years. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, bike? yeah, we we want to uh, be an important uh, bike transport uh, company in, uh, in in Brussels, uh, and we especially want to be uh, the leverage or one of the leverages uh, in the circular economy. So um, the the platform or or tool. Which help uh, to to transport um, food waste and, and to recycle it again into new product or rather raw materials because we we don't like to to talk uh, about waste right now it's considered waste but like uh, we can do a lot to to reduce the the carbon footprint of Brussels uh, could also think not only about food but uh, about recycling uh, building materials for instance. Now we'll need probably uh, stronger and, and bigger bikes, uh, but like yeah, of course, the, right now we're uh, we're working with non-electrical bikes, uh, but also the e-bike changed uh, changes the the paradigm um, in volume uh, we can transport. Uh, so we yeah, we want to build a community, grow and and. Have people working full time and, and decently from uh, from Molenbeek having it as is a, it as a as a real job, uh, the job of uh, of bike messenger or the job of of Molenbeeker, which is more than just uh, bike messaging. We we do uh, promotion, uh, sales, uh, so yeah, all that. Okay, good luck with it, and talk to you in, in a couple of years. Thank you. So you you can check our website. It's uh, Molenbeek.be. Uh, we also on uh, on social media.